Hi guys, I'm Gabby from Navigating Teen Life and I'm here with my friend Zion and we are joined here by Brett Kiesel and we are at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. Brett, thanks for being on Navigating Teen Life today. So we just want to ask you a few questions of what it was like to be a teenager and what kind of advice you might want to give somebody. Well Zion and Gabby, first off, it's great of you guys to be down here at Children's Hospital helping these great kids. It's great to give back to youth. I think uh, growing up and being a teen is crazy. You know, there's so many things going on in your life. You start to grow a beard. There's things going, you know, <laughs> girls start to change. So life is all about change as a teen and it's dealing with those in a positive way, having a positive influence on others, having a positive outlook each day and bringing your all every day. So Brett, thinking back to when you were a teen, what advice would you give? Well, the teenage years for me was all about dreaming big. I wanted to dream big and actually when I was a teenager I dreamt of being a football player in the National Football League. I was like, I can do this. And I had doubters. I had people say, you can't do it. I had teachers say, you can't do it. But I believed, I worked hard, and that's the biggest thing as a teen is developing that work ethic. Figuring out how to work through your problem, how to work through adversity. And look, you never know where your dreams can take you. Maybe the NFL. So Brett, as a kid and now an adult, what kind of advice did you wish or do wish that an adult could give you? Well, I was very fortunate growing up to have a lot of great leaders in my life. And a lot of people that great gave me some great advice. I wish people would have given me more advice about dealing with failure because life can be about failure. You know, we're gonna lose sometimes. We're not gonna win every game we do. So I think learning how to deal with that, learning how to use that into motivation, into motivation to not feel that failure again, to win the next time, um, I think that would have been some good advice. So Brett, what was it like whenever you were getting drafted into that NFL? That was crazy. I thought I was going to get drafted earlier than what I did. I yeah. ended up getting drafted the Steelers' very last pick in the draft, the 242nd pick. I had a party with family and friends for two days before that. So it was awkward to tell those guys like, yeah, I think I'm getting drafted, I'm not sure. But it went to the very end and had such high emotions, but I knew I was getting drafted to a really good team, the Pittsburgh Steelers that had a great tradition and a great foundation and uh, it all worked out for a reason. So what was the craziest thing in the Steelers locker room that has ever happened while you were there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, that's a tough one and I can't give you the real answer to that. Right? <laughs> but there's been some funny things that go on in that locker room. I always remember the championships. We had robes. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Rooney had gotten us all robes that said, you know, champions on them. And afterwards, we're all rode around <laughs> in our robe and just couldn't believe we were champions of the world forever. Mm -hmm. You know, and adding to the historic Pittsburgh Steelers tradition of Lombardi stacking, uh, it was pretty great to have that happen. All right, Brett, thank you so much for being here today and talking to us teens. Uh, we appreciate it so very much and all the work that you're doing for Children's Hospital. Um, go ahead, Gabby. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Navigating Teen Life.